It's an exciting time to be a space enthusiast, especially with all the buzz surrounding SpaceX's Starship and its upcoming trip to orbit. We've been waiting for this moment for over six years, and it seems like the wait is finally coming to an end. The team at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas is working around the clock to upgrade everything for the big day. Elon Musk has promised this flight for years, and with each passing day, we get closer and closer to seeing his dream become a reality. But now, we've got an update. And believe me, it's insane. Want to know about this latest buzz in SpaceX facility? Then stay tuned till the very end of the video. Hey guys, welcome to SpaceX Live. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get new updates about space, Musk, Tesla technology, and basically anything about science and SpaceX. Also, hit the like button to show your love. In today's video, we'll be talking about Elon Musk's insane upgrade for SpaceX Starship first orbital debut in April. Without any further ado, let's begin. Gary Henry, SpaceX's National Security Space Solutions Senior Director, gave us a reason to be excited. He declared that we should expect something huge in March, and I for one can't wait to see what that means. All signs seem to point to the Starship's first trip to orbit happening very soon, and it's an event you won't want to miss. It's incredible to think about how far SpaceX has come since its founding, and this next chapter in its journey is sure to be just as groundbreaking. So let's keep our eyes on the skies and our ears on the ground. Who knows what kind of news we'll hear in the coming days and weeks. But for now, it's the news about the upgraded Starship. The thing is, Booster 7 is getting closer and closer to its long-awaited launch. After a year of rigorous testing and multiple trips back to the production site for repairs and upgrades, the booster is now mounted on the orbital launch mount or its final preparations. The team at SpaceX is filled with anticipation and excitement as they hope this will be the last step before the launch of Booster 7. The recent huge test it received gave the team the confidence to move forward, and they even installed a new hydraulic power unit on its south side, while the HPU on the north side was removed. But on February 25th, they replaced the second HPU cover going on the back side of B7. As interestingly noted, these HPUs do look a bit like the Cybertruck, but let's not get too distracted by the cool design. The focus is on the upcoming launch and there's no indication that SpaceX will conduct another test with Booster 7 prior to its orbital flight. It's amazing to see how far SpaceX has come, and the progress they continue to make is awe-inspiring. With each successful launch, they push the boundaries of what's possible and bring us one step closer to exploring the final frontier. Ship 24 is currently hanging out in the Rocket Garden, and while it's unclear if all its tiles are fully installed, we can rest assured that the SpaceX team is working tirelessly to get everything in order. Once the tiles are confirmed to be installed, the ship will be transported back to the launch pad and reattached to Booster 7. There's still a chance that SpaceX will perform a wet dress rehearsal or a static fire with the fully stacked Starship, but it's also possible that they'll decide further testing isn't necessary. Either way, all eyes will certainly be on Stage Zero, and we can't wait to see the progress SpaceX makes in the coming weeks. Speaking of progress, the Starbase Launch Complex is in the middle of a labor surge right now, and it's exciting to see the team working hard to make sure everything is perfect for the big launch. In fact, the highlight of the past few weeks has been the installation of new shielding on the orbital launch mounts. The outer shielding of the orbital launch mount is nearing completion and is resting beside the shield near BQD. The final panels are expected to go on the OLM in the next few days, and this task will likely need to be completed before the launch attempt. The team is already hard at work installing a water deluge system at the South Texas Starship launch sites, which will make them much more capable of withstanding the stress of Starship tests and launches. While the construction of the system and a large enough water supply will take months, we can rest assured that the SpaceX team is dedicated to making sure everything is as safe and efficient as possible. Speaking of dedication, SpaceX is continually refining and improving the Starship engine, Raptor 2, which is critical to the success of the upcoming flight. With larger tanks to support longer Raptor engine firings, the team recently achieved a record-breaking 194-second firing on the tripod test stand. That's incredible progress. Of course, we can't ignore the recent explosion during a test, but let's focus on the positive strides being made by SpaceX. Every incident is an opportunity to learn and improve, and we're confident that the team will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. 
The green flash of light that happened is often symptomatic of the engine chewing through its copper parts, which is known in the spaceflight industry as a rapid unscheduled disassembly or RUD, as NASA's space flight explains in the video of the explosion. Even while it might appear that these explosions are nothing new for SpaceX, they're nonetheless quite expensive. One of the business's Falcon 9 spacecraft broke up shortly after launch in 2015, causing the corporation to suffer a loss of up to $260 million. Musk was so irritated by a Falcon 9 explosion in 2016 that the corporation looked into the possibility of sabotage. Without even getting into the numerous Falcon 1 prototype failures or the disastrous explosion of a pre-Crew Dragon module before it had sent any humans into space, it goes without saying that explosions are considerably more desirable to happen during test firings than during real launches. And even when they do detonate at inconvenient moments, Musk frequently maintains that the data the business gathers from the accident makes it worthwhile to upgrade to a better job the next time. Overall, Ship 24's return to the launch pad and reinstallation atop Booster 7 will be the clearest indication that Starship's maiden orbital launch attempt is about to occur. Moreover, SpaceX was granted a launch permit by the FAA. The permission to launch may now be the main source of uncertainty for Starship's orbital class debut, with testing substantially behind SpaceX. The FAA license might be obtained in a couple of weeks if, as Gary Henry said, there are no significant roadblocks in the way. A significant update is the recent launch of a new crew of astronauts by SpaceX and NASA on a trip to the International Space Station. This mission will last six months and will take the astronauts into the vast unknown. As the astronauts set off on a magnificent voyage of discovery and adventure, this historic event represents a key turning point in the history of space travel. It's amazing to see all the progress being made in space exploration, especially with the recent successful launch of Crew 6's Dragon capsule, Endeavour. While there was a minor issue shortly after separating from the Falcon 9's upper stage, the backup system worked perfectly and the nose cone opened on schedule. It's reassuring to know that analyses indicate that the potentially anomalous sensor won't be a problem going forward. And Benji Reed, senior director of SpaceX's Human Space Flight Program, is optimistic that the rest of the mission will go smoothly. Despite a minor setback with the scrubbed launch of Crew-6, the team was able to quickly identify and solve the issue, ensuring a successful launch on the following attempt. Crew-6 marks the sixth operational national crewed mission that SpaceX has conducted for NASA, and their impressive track record doesn't stop there. With a total of seven crewed missions under their belt, including the historic Demo-2 test flight that launched agency astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley toward the ISS, SpaceX continues to make incredible strides in the world of space exploration. But their accomplishments don't end with just crewed missions. SpaceX has also launched two private astronaut flights to Earth's orbit, the Free Flying Inspiration 4 in September 2021 and the AX-1 mission to the International Space Station in April of 2022. These successful missions are a testament to the incredible progress and hard work of the SpaceX team. It's exciting to see the advancements being made in space exploration, and it's clear that SpaceX is at the forefront of this progress. With their dedication to innovation and problem solving, I can't wait to see what incredible achievements they will make in the future. The sky's the limit. And that's it for the day, guys. We hope you liked the video. If you did, then like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.